ahí y me habían hecho una reunión de primer grado. La mamá de Matías Silva preguntó cómo iba a ser el otro año, qué asignatura, cuánto tiempo, por decir el horario, ¿verdad? Si de 7 a 12. Y le dijimos que pues nosotras no, no teníamos conocimiento de eso porque de hecho mañana estábamos la presentación y que al saber que si vamos a... Good evening, Gustavo. How are you? Uh, Gustavo, turn on your microphone. Take your microphone, please. I cannot hear you. Okay. Uh, what is the what is the microphone? Microphone. Oh, the microphone. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? Miss <laughs> Lily. Hi. Uh, can you give me can you give me advice? For example, uh, I memorize I memorize uh, a lot of vocabulary, but I forget it always. Um, well, you can try to uh, try to speak, uh, pronounce, 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 pronounce words, the words. Uh, pero I know um, a lot of a uh, little words, pero. La, en el momento, at the moment, I forget. Sí, I forget. Oh. Well, uh, I, it's my trouble. <laughs> so, um, well, the only way to improve your English and increase your vocabulary mm -hmm. is by practicing, definitely. So, the definitely. more you practice, the more you will increase and improve your English. So, um, yeah, just look for some resources to continue practicing try to continue working in the platform even if you get like 100 percent in the first try um you should just develop the exercises two times or three times maybe and there mm -hmm. are also more resources and more exercises online so you could just search some exercises in google mm -hmm. and there are some mm -hmm. web pages to practice so you could look for those mm -hmm. and can you recommend uh, a, a song platform no for example a uh, website a website, uh, website because to listen a uh, polka to beginner oh sure uh, I, can, uh -huh. I can recommend you some let me make a list for you tomorrow i'll send it to you tomorrow okay 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 i'll send you uh-huh I'll be waiting for your message. <laughs> okay. Sure. And you're, okay. I'll send you some resources hey. to practice. I'm glad to see you, Miss Lily. Me too. Thanks, Gustavo. Good evening, Janet. Okay. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. <laughs> How was your day? Mm, very very good excellent really and um, in your day teacher well today i had a busy day i had a lot to do had some meetings in the morning and some class and some other materials to prepare and i just had a meeting at <laughs> six and then i finished i had dinner and had it i had to come to this class so it's been busy, but nice. It's been very well. busy. Yes. <laughs> you sleep uh, early. Um, well, not so early because after this class, well, I have another class until 10. And then <laughs> after 10, I have to upload the videos and 
Yeah, it takes some time. Ah, wow. not really. <laughs> no, no Loki, in, in this case. Sorry? Good no look hard. in this oh, case. Thank you. No, I'll need it. <laughs> Good evening, Tamara. Hi, Tamara. Good evening. Hi, Carlos. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Ay, disculpe, esto es de me traba. Al principio no le escuchaba y tuve que desconectar los audífonos y conectar. Ok, no te preocupes. ¿Cómo estás, Tamara? Bien. Bien. Ok, muy bien. 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 How's it going, Carlos? How are you? How are you? Great. And you? I'm doing well, thanks. Okay. So, is it raining where you live? Yes, teacher. It's raining. Yeah. It's raining here too. I was worried. Well, I'm worried about the connection because it's uh well we have a really bad storm over here. It's raining really hard and there's thunder and lightning, so it's pretty bad. But hopefully we'll have a class, a normal class, right? Okay. Yeah. No problem. Está lloviendo un poco feo, está tronando y está relampagueando como mucho. It's horrible. <laughs> Pero, uh, uh, internet, no problem? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So far, so good. Oh, okay. Yes. Good evening, oh. Tena. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very well. Excellent. I'm glad to see you. So how about the platform, guys? Have you had any time to work in the platform? Yes, teacher. OK. Are you in section four already, Carlos? Oh, uh, yes, for uh, 4.11. Excellent. And you, Gustavo? Um, uh, can, you, uh, can you repeat again? Yes. So what section are you working in the platform? Ah, we are in the five section. Okay, you are in section five. I right? know, I'm, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the five section. Okay, excellent. You're almost done. That's <laughs> great. Mm -hmm. And you, Janet? Janet, how are you doing with the platform? So maybe she's having trouble. Tamara, how's it going with the platform? Uh, today I'm not working on the platform. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. What section are you in? In que section vamos? Section four. Section four. Okay. You're doing well then. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> and Selena finished. Selena, have you checked the, the, the diploma so far? I mean, is it available now or not? Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, yesterday some people told me it wasn't available yet, but today I haven't heard anything, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you ready to start? Yes or no? Mm, yeah, <laughs> yes, we are ready. Okay, great. 
So first of all, tell me, do you have any doubts or any questions about any of the topics or any of the exercises in the platform? No? Everything's no, sure. going well, okay. Great. Eh, por ahorita, ¿cómo se dice? Um, so far? Por el momento, at the moment. Yes. At the moment. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Okay, all right, very well, so let's continue. So first of sure. all, we are going, to tell me. Um, I'm Janet, it's uh, like a raining your house. Mm. Okay, thank you for telling me. Oh, messenger, I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a chat. Oh, in the chat, thanks. Yes. Thanks, I got it here. Okay, so let's start by talking about the things that make a great day. So what makes a great day? For example, I would say that having a free day would make it great, right? So what other things make a good day? What do you think? Eating my favorite food. Oh, eating my favorite food, great. Eat my favorite food. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, chicken. My hobby. My hobby. Beef. Practicing my hobby, my favorite hobby, or what is it? Let's see, practicing my favorite hobby. Do my short. Um, what do you? What did you say, Gustavo? If I escuchado, I listened uh, another word. For example, uh, se dice short, algo así, tareas. No dicen homework, mm -hmm. uh, short, algo así que es parecida a short de corto. Chores. No sé yes. cómo. Chores. In that case, Ajá, we're chores. talking about housework. Okay. Okay. Doing the chores. Chores sería como hacer oficio, ¿ok? Uh -huh, ok. All right, great. What else? Any other thing that makes a great day? Do the laundry. Doing laundry, ok. Doing laundry. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Um, yes. Maybe visiting tourists. Place, but no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> oh, okay, tourist places is fine, or visiting new places, you could also say. Mm. Ah. Or, wow. yeah, tourist places is fine too. You can also say it. Ah. Ah, okay, <laughs> thank you. All right. Ir de compra, teacher. Go shopping. Yes, that's very good, right? <laughs> oh. Open the Gmail. Shopping. Mm -hmm. What's that? Open Gmail. Open the Gmail. Open the, the email. Email, email. Okay. All right. Good. Clean the house. Clean the house. All right. Pretty well. So now let's have some things that make a bad day. What makes a bad day? For example, spilling my coffee makes a bad day for me. Spill, botar, or how do you say that in Spanish? Cuando, oh, derramar. Spill my coffee, derramar el café. So that will make a bad day. What are some other things that make a bad day for you? Lots of things. Lost my case? To lose my case? Ah, uh -huh. lost my case. Lose my case. No, it's one O. Oh. Okay. Any other thing? Yes, please. 
Robin, ¿cómo sería? Ok, get robbed or get stolen. Stolen. What is the meaning of this? Que me roben. Ah. Ser asaltado, podríamos decir. Ah, es, es nueva palabra. Gracias. Ok. Uh, sleeping in the world. Oh, okay. So that would be fall asleep. Fall asleep at work. <laughs> yeah, your boss wouldn't like that, right? <laughs> okay. Um, what is they it? Stretch of, they stretch of Can you repeat it, please? Uh, um, un día estresado, no sé, no sé cómo Oh, sería. okay, to have a stressful day. Yes. Right. Okay, any other thing? Have nightmares. Mm -hmm. Nightmare. Nightmares. Spanish. Pesadillas. Okay. Uh -huh. Anything else? Beating wow. my feet. What is it? Beating my feet. Beating my feet like golpearse. Golpearse el pie? Yes? Sí. Okay, so that, that would be better to say hurt. Hurting my feet or hurt my feet. Okay, <coughs> lastimarse, hurt. Mm -hmm. Porque beating es más como pegar, right? Like when you beat somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that you shouldn't, right? <laughs> okay, so now this is what we are going to do with all of this information. Let me send it to the chat. And then I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you practice making questions in the past and answering them. For example, in order to, to say or to deduce if you had a good day or a bad day, you can start by asking, let's see, Carlos, did you have a free day today? Um, no, no, I don't. No, you didn't, no, okay? Remember for the no, past, didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, I didn't. Okay. Yes. All right. And then, did you eat your favorite food today? Hi, teacher. Did you eat your favorite food today? Um... um I food my favorite food is um, chicken. Okay, did you eat chicken today? Um, yes, yes, I yes, I did. I, okay, I did. pretty well. All right, so that's what you have to do. You have to ask and answer the questions using this information. Like, did you spill your coffee today? Did you lose your case? Did you get robbed? Did you fall asleep? And so on, okay? So let me send you to the breakout okay. rooms and I'm going to send a picture to the chat so you have it, okay? So we have three groups. Okay, sure. So please accept the invitation. Sure.
what's happening? What happened is Lily, uh, I um, could not accept, I could not accept the invitation. Really? Um, what message did, did appear on the, on the screen? Okay. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué mensaje le aparecía en la pantalla o eh, solo no, no me apareció nada? No, no me fijé, hmm. no, I, no I, don't, I, don't, I didn't notice. Ok, porque acá me sale ya en un grupo, pero me sale que no ha, ha aceptado. Ahora lo moví okay. a otro, okay. no sé. Ok, okay. 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 all right. Sí. Hi guys, ¿dónde están los? Estaba solito, pinche. Oh yes, I noticed it. So I I sent you a classmate, but um he had some trouble with that, so I had to move you. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> Um, vaya. Le voy a compartir la foto para que la tengamos acá. Pues no sé si ya la tienen ustedes. Pero, um, ¿Pueden verla? Sí. A ver. No sé si ya estaban practicando ustedes. Eh, sí. Ah, vaya, si vos sigan, yo los escucho. Ok, eh, contestando, eh, eh, no sé quién sigue, si quiere yo pregunto y me contesta Janet. Janet, 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 o Janet, ¿cómo se llama? Janet. <risa> <risa> bueno, Janet. usted me contesta. Vaya, Vaya perfecto. Yo le pregunto a usted, usted me contesta y después usted le pregunta a, este, a Gerardo. Vaya, perfecto. Ok. Eh, did you practice your favorite hobby? No, I did not practice. Ok. Um, okay. Gerardo. Uh, did you join the church? No, okay. I didn't. Tamara, did you join laundry? No, what is that? laundry? Como lavar ropa sucia, algo así. Uh, eh, no, hay diras. Ok, eh, yeah. did you visit new, new play? No, I did not. Gerardo, did you go shopping? Yes, I did. Tamara, did you open the email? Eh, permítame. Eh, did you spill your coffee eh, on your desk? The spill no, is I derramar. Didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, okay. Did you lose? Did you lose your wallet? ¿Y eso cuál es? ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa eso? ¿Si perdió su cartera? No, oh, wallet. No, hay wallet. Ajá. Ok. Es que eh, ahora le toca, ahora digamos... le toca a Carlos, él no ha hecho preguntas. Ah, ok. A Gustavo. A Gustavo, a Gustavo. De, de, okay, what's, your, what's your... Um, 
¿Quieres de great day o bad day? Bad day. Ok. Um, you, did, you, did you or you did? Did you? Did. Did you? Did. did. Uh -huh. Ok. Did you have a stressful, stressful day in the world? Let's get started. Uh, a stressful, um, a, a little. Uh, my day uh, was a little stressful. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh -huh, because uh, I've been walking and uh, caminando oh, okay. all day. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, a great day. Uh, okay. Did you go shopping today? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, thanks. Mm. Fresh, le voy a preguntar yo ahora. Okay. Uh, do you hear? Do you hear your? Do you hear your feet? Uh, su pie? Uh, uh, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. How was your day? Yeah, I know. I see. Uh, for example, do you fall? Do you fall asleep in your work? Your? Um. No, I didn't. I sleep. Up the up in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, the the day the day is, uh, get get grow uh, grow your money. No, I didn't. Um, no, no, get grow. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> so. uh, sigamos. Otras. Gustavo. Okay, tell Did me. You go the cinema? If I video game, um, sleep late. Um, you, uh, what, what, uh, what makes a great day? Mm, drink co coffee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> yes, in, in the morning, morning and afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Um, do, you have the, do you like a coffee? Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> Did you drink coffee today? I to say no, but eh, como he dicho, no era anteayer, como se decía, se decía ah, last and uh, the day before yesterday. Ah, uh, the day before yesterday. O two days ago, no. Sí va. No me acuerdo. Eh, Podría ser yes. también two days ago. You can also say that. Okay, bien bon green screen. Eh, le pregunté del, del retrato. Ajá, del paisaje okay. que tiene bien bonito. Ajá, detrás ah, de él. Sí, yo también Ay. ya me había preguntado de eso. <laughs> so we're back. So how were, how were your days? Did you have a good day or a bad day at the end of the day? Let's see what is uh, good or bad. Good day, good day. Every day, great. Great day. My day was great. It was great too. It was very good. Only one, only one bad day. Only one bad day. <laughs> Who had stressful. a bad day? Oh, you had a stressful day, Carlos. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Today. That's really bad. Carlos. Hi. Do you need a good coffee? Um yes. yes. <laughs> I did. It's most. I like I like I like coffee. I like coffee in, in office a afternoon um, we love Monday. coffee. <laughs> afternoon and 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 como se dice en la mañana in the morning in the morning in the morning and the morning in the morning and afternoon. Great. <laughs> yes, it's always nice to take some coffee, right? Yes. It helps us relax a little. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Now we are going to talk a little bit about the simple Janet, past yeah, statements. You, Janet? Hi. And you are need co are you coffee? Yes, I did drink coffee today. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, guys, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. But I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, yes. no, it's fine. Don't worry. 
It's fine. I like you. that you were having some conversation, and especially that you did it in English, okay? So that's cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now let's continue by talking about the simple past statements. So let me uh, play the video. First of all, please pay attention to the examples and to the explanation that Mr. Sands uh, gives us. Let's get started by practice. Can you hear that? What? Statement. Can you hear it when I play it? Ah, no. yes. I can yes. All see you. It's blurry. It's blurry. Oh, really? But yes. But you can yeah. hear it. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. So try to hear and understand the explanation, and then we are going to get back to the presentation. So we check the examples. Okay. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study, studied, S-T-U-D-I-E-D. -E Stay, stayed, S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop, shopped, S-H-O-P-P-E-D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to... Okay, so that's what we have for the affirmative form of the simple past. So let's take a look at the examples we were mentioning in the video. Let's... So here we have them, watch, exercise, study, stay, and shop. So what do I do in order to make those verbs simple past, in their simple past form? So first of all, I have the most simple way that applies for the most of the verbs. That is to add ed. We simply add ed to the base form of the verb. So here we would have watched, watched. En este caso, simplemente agregamos la ed, right? We have watched. Then we have the verb exercise, exercise. What do I do in order to make it pass? What do I do? It's a Only D. You add D, right? If you have a verb that ends in E, then just add D. And you have exercise. Mm -hmm. En el caso de los verbos que terminan en E, 
simplemente necesito la D. la D. Ya no hay necesidad de agregar otra E, sino que simplemente la D, ¿ok? All right, our third verb is study. Study, what do I do in the case of studying? I, E, D. Exactly. I change the Y for I, E, D. So that means that I drop the Y and add IED. So it becomes studied. Se cambia la Y por I latina. Exactly. That's what happens. Entonces acá quitamos la Y y luego vamos a agregar la terminación. IED, IED. IED. Ok, but what happens in the verb stay? Add ED. Only ED, right? We only add ED and it becomes paid. But you'll say, well, what happens there, right? We have a Y in study and we also have a Y at the end of the word stay. So, um, how do vocal, I um, vocal or, or consonant. Yes, exactly. It uh, depends on the letter that you have right before the Y. Consonant. Mm -hmm. In this case of study, we have a consonant. So if we have yeah. the combination consonant plus Y, we drop the Y and add ID. But mm -hmm. if before the Y we have a vowel, like A, E, O, I, or U, then You just yeah. add ED, ¿ok? Yeah. Acá, solamente vamos a cambiar la Y si tengo una consonante antes de la, de la Y. En el caso donde tenga vocal, como en stay, solamente agrego ED. Okay? And we also have some other verbs where we need to double the last consonant, right? As in the case of shut. So in that case, you double the last consonant. <coughs> en el caso de los verbos que terminan en, en una consonante, para algunos se tiene que, eh, que duplicar la última letra, ¿ok? La última consonante. Like in this case, shop, shop. Okay? Any questions about this? Um, um, I had a question, what? teacher. Tell me, Carlos. Um, chopper, chopper. Yes. Uh, y en qué otra, cuando termine en qué otra consonante, por, por ejemplo. En, en realidad no tenemos definido uh, las consonantes que vamos a, a duplicar. Cuando, ajá, cuando duplique eso. Sino que saber. son, realmente son algunos casos especiales. Ahí vamos a ir agregando más verbos a la lista para que vayamos viendo los que cambian y los que no. Pero en realidad no hay una regla no, no, que no, me no, diga no, no, cuando no. termina en esta letra o en esta otra. Tiene mm. que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Ok. Son algunos casos nada más. Okay, Depende del verbo, entonces. Yes, it depends on the verb. Ah, uh, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, any other questions? No? Ready to practice? Ok. So, let me just go to the list of verbs. So here we have a list of verbs that we are going to change in and change mm -hmm. to the past forms. Walk. So for example, here in the case of walk, walk. what do walk. I need to add? Cooked, visit, visited, start, finished, leave. Okay, so light, I write walk, close, walk, right, uh, and dance, then how about fight, you help fight, me with carry, this? Let's see, play, enjoy, get out of the state, stop. Gerardo, can you please try to write the second verb? Creo que les aparece ahí la opción, ¿verdad? En la barra de, de herramientas. ¿Qué significa job? You have an option that says annotate. Yes, Hay una eh, opción que dice J, J, O, eh, J, O, 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 J, O
Gustavo, do you have a question? Gustavo. Tu micrófono está encendido. Este, Jock. Which one? Okay. Oh, the last one, Jock. Jock would be trotar, okay? Like in the morning, not running, but jogging. Trotar, okay? All right, so I was asking Gerardo to write the second verb. Creo que a todos nos aparece ahí la opción de anotación o anotar. Ahí solamente da clic, le va a salir otra barrita de herramientas. Seleccionamos text y hacemos clic en el lugar donde queremos escribir. Ahí ya podemos digitar. So Gerardo, please go ahead and write the past of the verb cook. And Tamara, can you also um, write the verb visit? Fijémonos que lo cambiamos a text. Ahí creo que estamos utilizando el lapicito, por eso no salen la, las linecitas. Ahí sale eh, primero un puntero, luego una que dice select, y luego tenemos el, la opción text. ¿Sí lo ven igual que yo? No, no es que como en el teléfono oh. parece muy diferente, así que creo que no parece. Sale bolígrafo y sale bolígrafo y, y resaltado. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, a mí tampoco, si te no entiendo. Okay, so no problem. We are going to, to just... O lo hacemos en el chat. Porque no le escribe en el chat. Oh, yes, yes el chat. That would be a good option. Okay, so let's use the chat. So let's see. Gerardo, the verb cook. Tamara, the verb visit. The verb start is for you, Selena. Carlos, you work with finish. Gustavo, can you make the past of live? Janet, like is for you. Tamara, you take care of the verb close. Then let's see, Gerardo, you can take another one. It would be arrive. Carlos, please grade the past of dance. Okay. Selena, you grade the past of cry. Janet, grade the past of try, please. Tamara, you grade the past of carry. Okay, continue grading, please. Let's see, we are in the verb cry. And let's see. Yes, that's fine. Janet tried. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. The verb carry. Um, let's see. Very good, Tamara. Now we are in the verb play. Gustavo. Can you grade that one, please? The verb play, Gustavo. Gerardo, take care of the verb enjoy. Selena, go ahead and grade the past of the verb stay. Stay. Carlos, can you grade the past of stop, please? Stop, bro. Okay, stopped. Very good. Janet, can you take care of plan? Okay, let me add the others that we are missing. 
Very good, Gustavo. State is fine, Selena. Very good. Gerardo, can you grade the verb prefer in the past? And the last one we have is job. Okay, preferred would be double R, okay? You double the last consonant, preferred, oh, yeah. double R. Okay, pretty good. So in that case, Janet, we add double N, double N and ED, okay? So let's check all together. Let's see the first verb. Walk, what? Only add ed. What? What? Next verb, visit. Again, add ed. Start. Start it. Finish. Finished. Live. Lived. Like. Liked. Close. Closed. Arrive, arrived, dance, danced. And here we have some verbs that change. So in this case of cry, we change the Y to IE, IED, and we have cried. Cried. Let me just write like this. In the case of try, it becomes, oh no, it's not. Yeah. Try, tried, carry, carried, play, played. In the case of enjoy, enjoyed. Stay, stayed. Stop, stopped with double P. Stop, stopped. Plan, planned. Double N. Prefer, preferred. Preferred. Jog, jog. Okay. There you have them. Do you have any questions about any of those verbs? Um, no, but if you, ah, no, uh, can you share uh, another verb? Share some other verbs? Sure. Oh, I can show, for, show another verb. Show other verbs, like which ones? And um, do you have any? special verb that you would like to, or any specific verb that you'd like to know the path of? Eh, no sé si tiene algún verbo del que le gustaría saber el pasado, Gustavo, o simplemente eh, quiere como más verbos para seguir aprendiendo más vocabulario. Sí, Ajá, sí, ah, correcto. Para no take note. Okay, sure. So let me sí, just uh, share some other verbs in the chat tomorrow, okay? Mañana les mando una listita ahí un poquito right. más larga en okay. el chat para los que puedan seguir practicando. Okay, so please repeat what. Work. Work. What. 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 En los verbos en pasado es muy importante la pronunciación final. Que ya vamos a profundizar un poquito más en eso. Pero sí, adelantarles que eh, lo que hace la diferencia es el sonido final. Así que hay que enfatizarlo y hay que practicar mucho esa pronunciación para que podamos hacer esa diferencia. Porque, eh, por ejemplo, si digo walk, walk en el presente y luego digo walked, walked, la única diferencia es ese sonido al final. T, walked, walked. Walk, walk, walk. Okay, then we have cook, cooked. Cooked. Repeat, please. Cooked. 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 Visited. 
Be seated. Be seated. Started. 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 Finished. 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 Lived. 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 Liked. Liked. Closed. 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 Arrived. Arrived. Danced. Dance. 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 Pride. Pride. Tried. 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 Carried. 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 Played. 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 Enjoyed. 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 Stayed. 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 Stopped. Stop. 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 Planned. 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 Preferred. 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 Jogged. Jogged. Okay, pretty good. So also remember to to pronounce the sound of the S at the beginning. En los verbos que inician con S, es importante pronunciar la S como start, started, start, started, stay, stop. ¿Ok? No olvidemos, no suena como una E, como stop, pero sí hay que pronunciar esa S. Stop, stop, stop. stay. Stay. Okay, so now let's continue with the statement. So how do I make simple past statements in the affirmative form? Well, first of all, let's check this example in the simple present. It says, I work every day. And in the third person, we say she works every day, right? So we have two different forms. We have work and works in the present. What happens in the past? Well, I need to change the verb, first of all, from work to worked by adding ed. And notice that we use the same verb for I and for she. We use the same verb for all the persons. It doesn't change. So here I have, I worked hard last week and she worked hard last week. Entonces, acá lo importante sería cambiar el verbo. En el caso de los verbos regulares, vamos a agregar ed. O dependiendo de las reglas, ya lo vimos, eh, agregar de o ed, pero siempre cambiaría el verbo. Y luego también tomar en cuenta que no cambia eh, según los sujetos. Siempre utilizamos el mismo verbo en el pasado. Worked, worked. I worked, she worked. So the structure that we would use would be a subject, then a verb ending in ed. And after that, we need a complement. Some other examples, we wanted some French fries. We wanted some French fries. Selena, can you help me to read this, please? Oh, okay. Can you help me to read this example? The second one, please. He, he washed the dishes last night. Thank you. He washed the dishes last night. Very good, thanks. Next example, let's see, Gerardo. Gerardo, can you help me to read this, please? Okay, how about Carlos? You read it, please. You are read at A. Thank you. All right, so as you see, we have the verbs wanted, washed, and arrived. All right. Yes, all of them end in ED. Todos ED. terminan en ED. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So now it's time to practice. Um, let's see, we are going to talk about things that we did yesterday. So what did you do yesterday? Think about one thing you did. For example, you could say, I studied all day. I studied all day. So that will be my sentence. I studied all day. Then Gerardo will continue by saying, I didn't study all day, but I, and then you add your sentence, Gerardo. You repeat mine in the negative, and then you add yours in the affirmative. Repetimos la oración anterior en el negativo. For example, I say, I studied all day. So you say, I didn't study all day, but I, and then you add the sentence. Go ahead. I study all day, but I, I didn't. Well, actually, I need to change it here porque la negativa tiene que ser la primera que repetimos de la persona anterior. And I didn't. Go ahead. So you say, I didn't study all day. Repite la oración que yo dije en el negativo y luego agrega una en afirmativo, ¿ok? En positivo, oh, ok. Yes. I didn't study all day, but I sleep at night. Ok, I slept at night. Pretty good. Continue, Carlos. I didn't. I didn't sleep at night, but I, um, what do you say? Um, it's in English, uh, uh, pasear la mascota o pasear mi mascota. Walk the dog or walk the my dog. pet. But, but I walk my pet. Okay, Selena, it's your turn. But, but I, I, I work my pet. I didn't go my pet. My, my pet. But I cook it at night. Cook it? But I didn't cook it at night. Okay. But no, sorry, Selena. Se me descubrió ahí, pero tiene que ser but I cooked, ¿ok? Sí. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> ok, let's continue. <laughs> Janet. Ok, maybe she's having trouble again. Oh, go ahead, Janet. I see your microphone on. <laughs> ok. I didn't cook cook it. Cook, uh, cook cat. No, hmm? I didn't cook, but I I watched TV. Excellent. I watched TV. Tamara, can you continue? Uh, I um, didn't watch TV, but I played. Uh, um, I I played. I don't know. Is only this or we? That's fine. I played. I played. Okay. Uh, soccer. Okay. Excellent. I played soccer. Gustavo, it's your turn. Okay, uh, I didn't call my mom, but I, but I call I call her. Okay. okay, excellent. So that's how we make some affirmative sentences in the simple past. Do you have any questions? Is it clear? 
Es yes, teacher, eh, bueno, no se va. Este, cuando esté el G not, no se puede poner ese, digamos, solo en simple pasado, en simple pasado, ¿verdad? O simple presente. Este, por ejemplo, cuando está el G not, no se puede poner el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Exactamente. Ay, en que me confundí. Sí, eso es un poquito confuso cuando se empieza a practicar, pero eh, sí, recordemos que cuando utilizamos auxiliares, en este caso did o did not, vamos a utilizar el verbo en la forma simple, en el presente, like I didn't cook, I didn't go, I didn't buy, I didn't run, and so on, okay? Always remember, okay. when you use an auxiliary, did or didn't, then just put the verb in the base form, okay? Okay, thank you. Se cambia el verbo solo en el afirmativo. All right, so that will be all for today's class. Thanks for your participation. Take care and sleep tight. Mm. Okay. Thank you, see ya. Okay. Bye. Good night. Everybody, good night. 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 Good night.